In this problem, we're going to be looking for the effective stiffness of the fluorescent system. The effective stiffness is defined by the numerator of the natural frequency equation, and the effective mass is the denominator. Let's look at this problem. We have two springs in parallel connected with one spring. Let's work first with the two spring in parallel. We can have a single stiffness value by summing K1 plus K2 because they are in parallel. So Ka is going to be equal to K1 plus K2. Now, we can simplify the system by drawing equivalent stiffness Ka attached to K3. Now, if you notice, the two springs are in series. The equation to find, find the equivalent stiffness for these two springs will be given by the following equation. So we're going to work with the following equation, substitute the values, and we're going to get an expression like this. Now, let's continue working with the algebra for this equation. And we're gonna find the common denominator. And we're gonna have an expression like this. If we take the reciprocal of this equation, we're going to get the, effect, the effective stiffness of the system. So let's do that. You're going to take the reciprocal, and we're going to have a final value or expression like this. And that will be the effective stiffness of our system.